okay in your exam he's given a very simple diagram of a stack so this stack that is shown in the exam does not have any nodes inside of it it's a simple one dimensional array in which we can store values and you know without storing a node inside a stack uh, can we write code for a stack you know and and this is a very simple implementation so it shouldn't take long so what i've done here is that i have first declared an array called stack and this array lower bound is 1 upper bound is 6 and it's going to store integer values because that's how it's been shown in the diagram right it's storing integer values um, and then I have declared two pointers one of the pointers is a constant remember this is the base of the stack pointer which means this is never going to move so the base of the stack pointer is always going to point towards node uh, the first element of the array so this is and I'm going to use base of stack pointer b o s p right so this is always going to stay at node 1 and the top of the stack pointer is going to move when we are going to add a value it's going to move and when we're going to uh, remove something when we're going to pop something then it's also going to move right okay then we've written our procedure to initialize stack in the initialization of stack we've set the top of the stack value top of the stack pointer to 0 because initially we don't have any items inside of the stack every node is free so all of these values you know initially nothing is there in the stack so so the top of the stack pointer has been set to a rogue value such as 0 0 is not a valid index value right the valid index values are from 1 to 6 so we've chosen a rogue value to show the top of the stack pointer is not pointing at anything which means what which means we don't have any uh, any items on our stack right okay let's take a look at the procedure push right in the procedure push we pass a data value for example something like push 20 right so we are trying to add this value to the stack right and one of the first things we want to check is do we have room to add data to the stack what if the stack pointer is already if what if the top of the stack pointer is already at this position what if it is if, if we have values in every one of these elements and the top of the stack pointer is already at position number six we can't go beyond this right so the first thing we are checking is that if the top of the stack pointer has a value less than six then we can add something to the stack right then what we can do is for example if top of the stack pointer was here right for example right if it was here at three we'll add one to it uh, right we'll add one to its value which means it becomes four so when it becomes four it is pointing here and now uh, we can add the value and I've missed that line of code to add the value so I should write stack uh, let me pause this and write that additional line okay so now that we've moved our stack to uh, we've added one to its value and the value of top of the stack pointer is we can now uh, we've added the value and now what are we doing we are going to our array stack the element towards which top of the stack pointer is pointing which is 4 in our array stack in the fourth element add this data value whatever data value has been passed right so this is just an example so first we check whether the stack is full or not right if the stack is already full uh, then if the stack is full meaning if it is if a st if the stack does not have a value less than 6 then we that means that it is full then we come to the else clause and we output the message but if top of the stack pointer has a value less than 6 that means we can still add some values right so then this part of the code gets executed and likewise the procedure pop is very simple right uh, if top of the stack pointer is e is greater than or equal to base of the stack pointer remember the value of base of the stack pointer is one so if top of the stack pointer has a value greater than or equal to one that means we have uh, some data items on our stack right so so if it is if top of the stack pointer has a value greater than or equal to one that means what that means you know we have some data items lying on our stack so in that case we can remove something from our stack and to remove what do we do we simply move top of the stack pointer downwards we 
subtract its value by 1 so if for example top of the stack pointer was 1 right now and 1 is not greater than 1 but it is equal to 1 which means what we have we can still remove something from our stack so we execute this equation and top of the stack pointer minus 1 gives us 0 which means top of the stack pointer now becomes equals to 0 right and the item has been removed if top of the stack pointer for example was 6 right 6 is greater than equal to 1 right 6 is greater than 1 once again you know uh, we could have removed an item from the stack so 6 minus 1 would give us 5 so top of the stack pointer would be updated to 5 meaning we've removed one value right but however if top of the stack pointer does not have a value greater than or equal to base of the stack pointer if it doesn't have that value then we come to the else part and this is where we output the message that the stack is already empty we can't remove anything so this is a very very simple implementation of the stack and I hope you've understood it okay once again this is a very simple implementation of the stack and this code works only if we are if we are not storing nodes inside of the array remember you know we have not declared a node we are not storing nodes rather we are storing simple values just like is shown in the uh, pre-release right we are simply storing integers here right so there are no nodes here right there are no nodes here with pointers right so this is not what is there we are either we can store integer values or simply string values so if we don't have nodes and if we simply want to store string and integer values inside of our array without using nodes then this is the way that we have to implement 